Hi everyone, this is the positive and negative heart lesson part two. So you've colored in your six by six square with either crayon or oil pastel and you've tried to cover or color it hard enough or complete enough where there is very little to no white paper showing. Now the next step, we're going to add a little bit of texture to our picture and you can use a pair of scissors and I'm going to leave it closed or you can use a uh, paper clip. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to basically scribble or just use some different types of line around there. And I'm just adding a little bit of texture. So here that looks a little up close. And there's some oil pastel crumbs I can kind of wipe away if I don't want to, if I want to try to be neat. All right, so the next part, we're going to flip it over and we're going to be drawing a heart on the back because we're going to be cutting out a heart shape. Now there's a couple ways to do this. I want to show you this way because I know sometimes people have a hard time drawing a heart and I want to show you what I think is kind of an easy way. So I'm going to take my pencil and somewhere in the center I'm just going to draw a line down, not to the end though, and then I'm going to make an arrow at the bottom. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a big bump out, come out, and then it connects to that side of the arrow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So your heart may be bigger or smaller than mine, but you want to keep this space around it. Now, of course, this is white paper here. Another way is to just fold it in half and to draw half of a heart. The one thing here though, you have to be careful because you have to be drawing half of that heart right on the fold line and then you would cut this out. But I'm using this way. All right, so now I have to cut this out. And another way to do that is to just take your scissors and I'm gonna cut right up to the bottom of that heart. And I'm just gonna follow that all the way around. Now there's a couple other ways to do this as well, but for this video, I wanted to show you this way. So positive and negative space. Positive space is the space an object takes up. So here we have our two pieces. In this side, my heart is taking up the space. So this would be positive space. The area around it, or the background, would be negative space. This heart, we're still, this heart is the main focus of the picture. So this is still positive space. And then the background is the negative space. So you're gonna take that, these, both of these, and you're going to glue it down to the other squares, okay, just like that. And when you get that part done, you are going to glue both of them to the colored piece of paper that I have for you. So that's just finishing up positive and negative space. Positive space is the object or the focus of the picture, and negative space is the space that surrounds that object or the background. Okay, can't wait to see your hearts.